Hello and welcome back to the Bold Bavarians. So, step number one, disband our troops that we've had raised because there's really no reason to have them raised. I think the reason the disband button hasn't shown up is because we were being raided, uh, but we are able to disband them for no penalty. Cool, step number one's done. Step number two, how do we recover from what happened last episode? Well, there are some simple things, but let me have a look. So we have no claims on this land. So we need to regain the claims if we we're going to get it. And it's our liege's land now. That's pretty bad. Is our liege above his domain limit? Our liege is uh, below his domain limit. Okay. Will his land split in two when his heirs take over? So he gets five more titles. You're heir to the Duchy of Tyrol. Ah, because he has two duchies, uh, this guy gets one of them. Okay, although he doesn't have two duchies currently. I guess the Duchy of Tyrol... Yeah, how are you heir to the Duch... Is your mother like the Duch... The Duchess? No. Okay. How is this working then? So what is Tyrol? Ah, so it's this bit down here. So Unsbruck, uh, Brooken, and Lienz, they are going to break f uh, free from Bavaria upon my liege's death. Interesting. Okay. So this guy is going to get all the titles underneath, uh, but he's going to lose three vassals to his brother. Okay, okay. Are we allied with anybody within our area? Apart from our brother, nobody. Okay. So, we could potentially attack Osberg. That might be our next point of uh, weakness, to attack them. Now, they are a lot stronger than us, and they are allied to my brother. That's going to be a problem. Uh, we could go for Pasal all the way over here. They are weaker. They're currently being raided, which isn't a thing that we need to worry about. Yeah, they might be the only one we could attack, apart from the one that we're getting claims on, which is this guy. Now, he's allied with Un Innsbruck, so they actually have 1,200 troops, which is slightly more than our allies have. Although, when I say our allies, I mean this ally here, who has 450, and this ally here, we're 700, so that puts us at 1,100. Actually, we have slightly more, but yeah, there, there, there's our little bit better um, grouped would be the way I describe it. So, um, we do have another ally. Where exactly are they? How far away are they? See, they're a little bit too far away to re realistically be expected to join, uh, and they have zero troops. That's um, that's not really very good. Okay, so, they have zero troops. Um, hmm. I think that we will probably be alright in the war, but what we'd need to do is somehow get our troops over to Ravensburg early. We could potentially also just reinforce our troops, at which point we would have more, and that would probably fix some of the issues. Yeah, but having just more base would be good. So let's uh, speed the game up and let this kind of stuff just happen. Uh, greetings, Count Themo of Munchen. It's become clear your bishop is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the county of Alpsee. Do not think this kind of dishonorable action can go without response. Well, that's not good. Uh, on the other hand, we are going to fabricate a claim on him anyway, because why wouldn't we? Right. See it done. So we are a little bit low on cash. We need to get uh, some money now. Once we get some money, we can uh, declare the war. So easy enough. A curse undone. A twist and turn. The twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows I was cursed the day I met Walram. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that squeamish churl to his grave. Okay, Walram, my rival. Um, was he not the person that we pushed into um, a water trough? <laughs> oh well. Um, that happened. Ooh, Tuscany's now free. Okay, so I saw some of these wars ended. So Tuscany is free from our liege. That's in our top level liege. So he's getting weaker. But he's incredibly weak. Okay. So this is interesting to us. Because the fracturing of the Holy Roman Empire is both a good and bad thing. It's good in the sense that it provides more opportunity for expansion if we can get up to the next layer. Like if we can become a duke, we've got a ton of expansion there. It's also bad because there's no way of us getting elected to a powerful empire. Because, well... There won't be one. But hey, that's alright. We don't need to worry too much about that right now. We've, we've got other problems. Murder. Itching for a distraction. The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of Duke Otto's guards is brought to me. 
No one will notice him tampering with their clothes. If something distracting for the guards could be planted. What would you have of me, my lord? Um, we pay 50 gold or uh, we cut holes in their clothes and in proper areas. I'm going to do that because I don't have 50 gold. So it would seem like a bad thing to do. Deserting levies, minus 30% levy size in this county. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. My uh, daughter has had an additional three uh, intrigue added. Okay. We can now declare war because we're no longer in debt. Just checking what's up with my children. So you're betrothed. You're going to marry in like five years. You're going to marry in like four years. Is everyone betrothed? Yeah, everyone is betrothed. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, my agent, Count uh, Hi Heinrich, um, approaches me with a bunch of parchment clutched in his hands. I found old architectural sketches of the Duke's castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. Okay, so we can say this is a tunnel we can use and we get progress, or I gain nukes and crannies and gain scheme resistance. Nah, I'll gain progress. That's okay. Yeah, seems like the best one we can get. What's this? Uh, popular opinion up. Nice. Hello. Greetings, my modest vassal. I would like for your young son, Matthias, to be raised by Heinrich. Um... No. That's definitely a no from me, but appreciate the offer. But I think we'll probably educate him ourselves. Um, just checking. So, yeah. I guess we want him to be our... We'll just make him our ward. Just right now. Yeah. There we go. Cool. That should probably stop the requests, but maybe not. The time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay the assassin the very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the wall is unguarded. A third will leave a subtle trail of candles to Duke Otto's bedchamber. Everything is in place. Do it. The assassin performed spectacularly, and Duke Otto of Bavaria is finally dead. I have covered my tracks well, and if anyone suspects me for being behind the attack, well, no one dares say it out loud. I do love surprise visits. So for outliving our rival, we gain a ton of prestige and we lose a lot of stress. And because he was killed by us, we also lost 44 stress. So we're very, very unstressed. So now if we check Bavaria, this is actually in the, wait, what's up with this? You are now underneath this guy, the Duke of Osberg. Huh, I, I didn't even expect, wait. Was I always fabricating claims outside our area? I was sure this was part of Bavaria, but mere seconds ago. Um, interesting. So this obviously spot. Let's have a look. So Tyrol spr uh, sprung free. Oh, maybe this was all. This was all under Osberg the whole time. Oh, yeah. Well, this guy only has 500 strength anyway. Okay, I'm just double checking that that is the case. Was I going crazy? No. Okay, this guy died, and then you inherited. Okay. But what relation are you to him? How did you inherit this? What, what's, what's even the succession law? Um, no, not Duchy of Bavaria. Of Osberg. Duchy of Osberg. Yeah, I don't under entirely understand how this guy inherited. Because he's not directly... He's the grandparent? Okay. Uh, so his father was dead. So how did... I didn't even know that would split off like that. Okay, so it jumps down a generation, so it jumps from him down to here. So all brothers got something, including this one? Huh. I didn't, just did not know it worked that way. Okay. Whoa, I didn't, I was also on, on speed one, so things were happening. Uh, to my vassals, an influential count is only fair that you have a voice in my council. In recognition of this fact, I hereby offer you the position of Chancellor of Bavaria. Sure, I'll take it. Um, so actually, this isn't too bad. You're allied to this person who has 380 troops, but we can easily make this happen. I think that this is an easier war. Potentially, right? How strong was this guy? 600 with another 400. Yeah, this is a much easier war. I'm going to take it. Yeah, I declare war. For my claim. We spend 50 um, prestige. We can call in our ally. Yeah, this is the way to, this is the way to play it. Right, I'm going to call in, let's see, definitely going to call in Ravensburg, and I think uh, Frontenhausen will call in as well. Right. 
I'm ready. Let's go. We'll go speed three till we get all of our troops raised. We could probably go straight for the attack. Um, we sh Why are we taking attrition walking right there? Is there one of these that's closer? Uh, yeah, wait. Which one of these is... So we actually can't walk to any of his holdings without taking attrition? Oh, that no, we can walk to this one. Oh, was it cause it was walking me in here and up, but if we go directly there, it's fine. I see. It thinks we would win. Due to him gathering army, but we are taking a river crossing here. Alright, I'm going to take a single step and we'll see how that goes. This commander is also not as good as us. So, that's fine. He has joined us. Okay. We want to wait till they lock in. They're locked in. My dear brother, I will join you in the war. Thank you very much, brother. He has helped us kill our liege, so he is, uh, you know, starting to uh, redeem himself in our eyes. But he did try and kill our son, so, you know, not completely redeemed. Okay, so Ravensburg joined us, and that should be the end of this one. Our knight was wounded, but they were destroyed. 50% war score, and we'll head directly to the war goal. Prisoners can be ransomed, so Count Albrecht. Who's this guy? Wait, yeah, oh yeah, this is the uh, guy whose land we're taking. I'll definitely ransom him for 50 gold, as he won't be worth that after the war. And this mayor? Uh, I think I'll ransom for 30. I like the money. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm going to go to speed 4 as well. Okay, enemy joined the war, so Count Wolfram joined the war. But that shouldn't really matter, because um, we've already destroyed the entirety of the other army. It's a long siege, though. Yeah. It would be nice if I could tell my allies, nah, I got this, you can go, uh, you know, deal with the other people. Because they're definitely going to win their siege before we win our siege. Um, which is fine. A changing mind. Hildegard has been asking me for a spinning top for a long time. I told her I'd get one in three months if she displayed more focus. She says she doesn't really care. She's fickle. You know what, that's fine. You can be fickle, Hildegard. Doesn't bother me. Six months left, so they did siege some of our land, but it doesn't matter too much. As long as we can siege this quicker than they can siege our capital. Which, we can. It's straightforward. And... We got it. But now we have war score. Isn't taking war score. Uh, now we need to head back and defeat their army. Things will be even. I disagree. We have crushed them. Wonderful. Uh, so now we've got taking war score. We're maxed from battles. The stuff that they've already taken is worth... 32% war score. Well, I'd like to head back here and de-siege it then, if possible. They don't have enough to siege their one back. Cool. Tourney day. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All my knights cheer as Count Edelheid uh, announces the tournament in their honor. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend an entire tourney day stuck to a throne, however. So I can cheer my knights, and every knight likes me. And give my son some pointers, and he gets one of these. Or, uh, today is a day in our honor, my dear. I'm going to give my son some pointers. Let's see what he gets. He got forwarder. So, crosses water without advantage penalties. I mean, that's not too bad. He's really pretty bad at um, battles in general, but hey, it's not too bad. I love how they're sieging it with eight people. I mean, what, what are they really thinking is going to happen out of that? It's just not going to work. Not going to work in the slightest. Every man for himself. The forceful knock on the door clears every bit of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a count at this hour? My late night visitor is none other than Count Berthold. I have to speak with you privately, away from listening ears. I have discovered something very interesting. Count Berthold has dis uncovered a secret of mere... Uh, white... Uh, which, uh, why charts? Um, he is uh, willing to share it with me if I let him off the hook. Okay, who is this guy? My chancellor. Okay, and this random person has offered me this. So, um, he will tell me a secret and I lose my favor hook on this guy. And say, um, you, you think you can make demands, tell me or else. I'd lose some stress because I'm content. He wouldn't like me. Chancy becomes wounded. And he tells me the secret. Or... I'd rather have you in my pocket than him. You know what? I'd rather have my Chancellor in my pocket, probably. Yeah, do it. I've learned about his deviant secret. Oh, oh my. Right. 
I do see that we have a learning perk. I'm just kind of leaving it for just now. My daughter Hildegard has been in limbo between childhood and adulthood. I've taught her enough to understand the truth and she is still young enough to have an open mind. If I want to induct her into the service of the Horned God, it is now or never. Sure. She's in. Nice. Alright. Two months left. One month left. We're getting there. 50 days. And it's slowly ticking away. Oh, they have a few more troops now. They're not going to help, but they have a few more troops. My um, ally is sieging down his capital. That's a good amount of war score. We'll go uh, help our ally, because I think that this is a good use of our time. Cool. Head over there. We'll defeat their one troop. Nice. Oh, there are multiple wars going on. Who are you? You've declared a war. A liberty war. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then, as long as you don't siege my land back, that's absolutely okay. Right. We've got Osberg. Now, did we get a prisoner there? We did. Just checking. So, I will of course ransom... Oh wait, yeah, we'll ransom him right now. I'll just let it roll until the ransoms come in. Thank you. I'll ransom him next. 50 gold. Yeah, I know, I heard it. I'm just waiting for the ransom. It is replaying this because uh, it's like, you won, you won. You want to peace out? Now I'll peace out. So we get the county, we get the city. Done. Greetings, Count Themo of Munchen. Blessings upon you and your house. You are much greater for than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Nice. So we got a little bit of extra land. We've increased the size of Bavaria a little bit, which is good um, because, well, our liege being strong is actually an okay thing. Um, we just don't want them to be stronger than us. We're still second in line to inherit our um, our brother's land, which is interesting. He hasn't had that many children. Uh, where are we going to go from here? So we got anatomical studies. So court physicians are cheaper. Wards can gain additional skills. We could go down faithful, but there's not very there's not a lot of purpose in it right now because we're not a different faith. So I think. I think we might take the wash your hands one. That means that we'd get less diseases. I think that seems reasonable. How old are we? We're 50. So we're going to start needing to worry about our health right now. Okay. Uh, disband our troops. Which is going to save us a little bit of money. Uh, is this any good? This one that we got here? I mean, it's... Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, yeah, it's alright. It's not, like, groundbreakingly good. But it's okay. Um, just thinking here. So, where do I want to... I can maybe get a claim on Osberg. What, what's our truce? Uh, our truce is... Five years. You know what? Sure, I'll get a claim on them. Uh, let's go in here. Go to the right one. Let's get a claim on Osberg itself. Getting some of this extra land is good, because effectively we're picking up land which was impossible to get previously. In, in, in a way of thinking. Because all the individuals were strong enough. But now this guy's just super weak. Probably just pick on him for a little bit. Right. Uh, what else are we going to do? Not too much else. Get control back. Uh, am I still working on control? No. Okay. Get control back in our capital. Um, oh, maybe that disappears when they start sieging. That would probably make a lot of sense. And then I guess we just unpause. Yeah, although we do have a lot of money, we could potentially buy something in here if we wanted to. Mm, yeah, we could buy like a tax up. 0 0.5 per month. It would pay for itself in 75 months. Sure, why not? It's a long term thing, but I think it'll work. Um, So, Count Friedrich, my uh, brother, or my half brother, does not like me. Not half-brother, brother-in-law. Doesn't like me anymore. Or as much as he used to. Well, that's not good. Uh, control level dropped by 20. Really not a huge fan of that. <laughs> Factions being created against uh, Duke uh, Heinrich. So my niece, Countess Sophia, has created Liberty Faction. Oh, my, um... Wait a second. My half-brother is dead? When did that happen? Yeah, when did you die? Um... He died... 1088, so... Like like a year ago. Oh, that's good, you know. When, we just noticed about a year ago he, he just died. Oh, well. Um, 
That would probably be when I noticed that we were next in line. I was like, that's a bit weird. That, that makes a little bit of sense. No, wait, uh, my wife can educate my uh, other daughter. That's fine. Um, so, we now have a niece, so we no longer need revenge against our brother. Uh, what's our spy master doing? Nothing right now. That's okay. Uh, just checking they weren't doing yet in secrets. Do we have an alliance? We cannot negotiate an alliance because none of these are true. Fair enough. Were we not marrying one of our children to one of them? Uh, so you're marrying my niece. Yeah. Okay. So that should be... Wait. Are we too far away for an alliance? Is that what's going on here? Let me see. So not my child. It's not parent, not sibling. It's not married to a child, parent, sibling, grandchild, uh, niece. Yeah, okay. So it would have to be direct. Yeah, so it would have to be um, our child is married to her, not our child is married to her sister. I think. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, well that's fine then. Um, unless the betrothal's going to do something at the end of it. Uh, so it basically means next generation things are going to work out that way. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, no, uh, I'm not going to let you educate my son. That's just not going to happen. Okay, let time move on. The older guard has come of age. Oh, wonderful. So, what did she get? She got Amateurish Plotter. The level 1 Intrigue one. Not amazing. However, um, she is about to marry this guy. Um, who I'm sure was in a house which was a little bit more powerful at one point, but appears not to be anymore. But hey, what's this? This is... Oh, he's a bastard of a house. So maybe you... No, he must never have been powerful. Hmm. I wonder why I chose him. I'm, I'm now starting to wonder. I guess I chose him because um, he would be a, a knight coming to our land. I guess that was the main reason. He lost the Liberty War. Okay, so his Liberty level's been dropped. Um, we could potentially raise ours. I just realized Crown Authority. There's not really a great reason to right now. I think we're fine. Unless we want to change partition law, but it's not really going to do a lot because we are a count and we hold a lot of count level titles. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. What about this one? Betrothed can marry. We'll send our proposal. Wonderful. So this guy is now in our court, uh, and that means that we do have another knight. So we're no longer... Oh, no. We are still few on knights. Wait. Does he not count? I will count in a second. There we go. Now we're no longer few on knights. Fantastic. Well, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.